I'm a huge advocate for, for being very honest. And EA did something good. Uh, they added Mutt Practice Mode. Now, this is cool for a few different reasons. I'm going to tell you guys why I'm very optimistic about this. And it's very happying. That's not a word. And it's uh, and some of the limitations that make it very depressing. Which also isn't a word. So... Um, but practice mode, if you guys don't know, uh, Ultimate Team has had a practice mode of forever, meaning that ability testing has been really hard. It's been hard to see your players before they actually get into games, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and it was something that people have wanted for a very long time, myself included. I was told a long time ago that it had like it was like some bandwidth issue. I I, I don't know. Um, I don't understand bandwidth or technology at all. So take that with whatever you want. Um, but it, it's a good thing. It is a good thing. Now, it, th this was dubbed as a historic event. Was it historic? I don't think so, right? I don't think... I mean, It's historic in the sense that it's something that we've asked for for years and they added it, but was it historic in the fact that I don't foresee... And tell me how you feel about this. I don't foresee, from my point of view, people flocking back to the game or to the game for this, right? I don't see this being as exciting as crossplay, as exciting as even bringing back Weekend League, which to me shouldn't be considered historic either because they're just bringing back a mistake or, you know, they're they're reversing a, excuse me, a, re a mistake that they made. Um, so I don't believe it's historic. But uh, ability testing is going to be really, really nice. It's going to be nice to be able to see how players play. Um, that, that, of course, is, is going to be cool. I know a lot of people are very excited about that. Uh, it'll be cool to be able to see, I don't know, even little things like that I have an issue with sometimes is like, um, formation subs, uh, be able to do that in practice mode before going to games. Uh, that'll be something else that is something that you can now test a little bit. Um, in practice mode, you can move the ball, uh, you can go and test situational plays with situational abilities, right? That's another advantage. There's also something that I wonder if they'll expand up, uh, upon later in the year, and I don't think they will, but they could, with uh, the NFC and the AFC playbooks. That's something that they could easily expand upon as the year goes on. And uh, those are only available in Mutt. So it'll actually make my life easier for making eBooks and stuff like that because I can actually use those players, which is obviously nice. You know, practicing plays. I'm a huge advocate to practice your offense and your defense uh, before you get into games with them. And it'll be way easier for Mutt guys to do this now. Now, again, this is probably something that should have been in for a few years and a huge gut punch with this, and I'm not trying to be negative at all, um, but I'm being honest, um, is that you can't use a second controller yet. Meaning that you can't set up, if you're looking for a defense, you can't set up the meta offensive plays. And if you're looking for an offense, you can't set up the meta defensive plays. This is, I, 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 RG, I, I believe RG is the guy behind the scenes who was a huge reason this happened. I 100% believe that. And I guarantee he did everything in his power to do that because he's aware. He used to play competitively. Um, that two controllers is necessary. So first and foremost, huge thank you to RG for even getting it on the board where next year maybe we could get two controllers in. But not having it is a huge L and it's a huge gut punch. It's a huge... Oh man, it, it is a, mm, uh, it stinks. It stinks not getting those two controllers in there because it means everything from testing different route combos versus different defenses, everything like that is so, so, so important. Uh, you can't lab blitz pickups um, at all either, which does stink. But I mean, still, you have the ability to, you know, lab cover three bombs with your team, lab cover two bombs. You can lab man coverage beaters to an extent uh, with this. So I think. I think it is a good thing. Um, I think it is a good thing, especially for comp guys. I think it's beautiful. Cause a lot, what a lot of people would do is that they'd make rosters in 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 uh, in the actual game, and they just recreate their mutt their mutt team in their roster and practice with them, which obviously is tedious to do. Obviously, it's hard to get abilities correct, and obviously, it changes so often. Whereas now, you can just really go in and test uh, an ability immediately, and so that's nice, right? That is super nice, and you can do offense, defense, kickoff, all that stuff. Uh, I think that's a super, super W. I will say, one uh, another thing that they did in this in, in this announcement stream is that I think they hit on something that they missed a lot, and that's with the low elite out-of-position players. Now, I am not a content guy at all, but I have been a huge advocate for something in that when they add in, this is really dumb, but when they add in these low-level, low-overall elite cards that are out-of-position, right? Like, you know, a tight end JJ Watt or, uh, you know, a whatever, um, that fits that criteria. 
a lot of times I felt like they'd miss in the past where they would that they they they'd post a card that or make a card that wasn't fun. Whereas now these cards are pretty fun. They have this like six nine four hundred pound dude. They have a Tressway quarterback, which if you don't know that meme, it's from Madden twenty. Uh, so I think they actually made some of these out of position cards pretty fun, which I think they miss on a lot. I'll say there are the yearly cards. Sean Taylor's a huge W. Um, the wide receiver Dion. I don't think his abilities look that good, so I don't know. I'm not crazy about it. And then the Team Red, Team Blue, I'm not really sure even how that works, but there's some kind of voting going out with Team Red, Team Blue. I don't I don't really know. I feel like some of those things were misses. Ah, oh, man, the, the Mutt practice mode, dude, I'm just, I just sit back and I'm like, man, I don't know if that, if that fit into the historic right criteria. Um, I, I think it's a great change, and I think it is, it is a betterment of Madden. It it feels like something that should have been done already. Maybe, I, no, I don't want to say it feels like something that should have been done already. It feels like something that it. I don't know. I I don't know. I'm not. I'm not sure. Uh, it again. I try to think of everything from one how it benefits me. Obviously, right from a cop perspective, it's amazing. But from a casual perspective, I think. I mean, I don't. I don't see my 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 old roommates being like, oh hell yeah, man, brought this back. I thought maybe there was a chance. Well, I thought what I was really hoping for, and it, it isn't realistic, but I was really hoping for was like a new game mode somehow. Um, I don't know how they do it, but like a battle royale, like MLB The Show, um, like uh, I, I don't know, right? But something like that, I was like, ooh, this could bring back like some freaking heat. It, and it wasn't that, um, which sucks. Crossplay. I honestly was I'm I, I don't mind not having crossplay. I think if you're advocating for crossplay, I believe that's wrong because I I'm not confident that installing crossplay midway through the year would be successful. Long story short, I just think it it ended up getting really really bad. Um, I could see I could I, I just you know I'm in. I'm curious if, if practice mode is functional tomorrow all the way through. We've had a, it'll be a really bad look if they release practice mode. It's not functional. It'll be a really bad look. Um, it is coming out tomorrow though, uh, December 8th. So that'll be exciting. The other thing with it is I'm curious to see, um, there's a title update coming tomorrow as well. So I'm pretty curious to see how this title update works out. It's going to change the game. A good amount is the whispers. We'll see, obviously. I don't know, but that's what, uh, the word on the block is. And so that's what I'm going to, that's what we're going to see. And we might have some new eBooks coming out very soon if they change this game and make it, uh, to a point where I'm having a freak ton of fun with it because obviously i want to do that but i appreciate y'all um see you in the next one hey you made it to the end of the video meaning that you probably enjoyed it if you did check out this one right here you're gonna like it even more or consider going to the description and check out my website civil.gg learn how i play the game of john man football all right see you in the next one